for my next trick, I'm going to cut this radio out. So I'm going to have three shelves, uh, although that's theory, but uh, knowing this boat, as soon as I've uh, taken this out, I'll find it's not good enough for a shelf, but it looks pretty solid up there. It looks like the same stuff, to be honest. So I have a hole saw and I'm going to drill a hole in here somewhere and then cut around this piece because I can't get it off any other way because the plugs are in there and I can't get them out so I'm just going to cut it out and see what I can see that's the idea right so I cut that and then started sawing down before I thought why didn't I just take the radio out which I've now done I don't know what to say about this job. Um, here's my cupboard, my shelf. Um, sorry, I'm distracted because my mum's pissing us off laughing behind the camera. Thanks. So this this is my shelf. So I can't remember what I've already shown you on the video because I've already uploaded them. So we're off to a great start. But <laughs> I'm trying to take this panel out. I've gone forward and backwards. First of all, I just started taking this out, uh, this bit. Then I started taking... Um, this bit off but now I can't because I've got an impact driver screwdriver but it's still not taking these out I think I damaged screw heads trying to um, drill them out anyway so I've now got my dad's jigsaw <laughs> it's a big tool so I'm gonna do what I had intended and what I started with which is cutting this out all the way around the panel <laughs> about a bit because you've got to push more than you think um, and I'm just not used to it this tool at all mm, look at that do you know I wasn't expecting it to fall in <laughs> Ta -da! look at that now I can see what I'm doing Better. Anyway. <laughs> gonna take out this amplifier boxy electrical nonsense so we've managed to isolate power and I've got my dad who knows electrics and he's gonna explain sort of how we identified whether there was power to it and and sort of turning the fuses off and stuff okay this is your handy multimeter yeah Yay. what we're gonna do is because we're looking for a 12 volt circuit we're gonna turn it to 20 volts yeah. Which is direct current, yeah? Okay. And we've got the black lead in the common socket and the red lead goes in this socket here. Okay. Not this one. <laughs> this one. Alright. And we're just going to check the voltage across those two terminals there. The big red one coming in here and this black one, which is labelled ground, is the earth. Ah, the negative yeah. side of the circuit. So all we need to do is pop those two leads positive on there and the negative on that one the black the black the black cable. one yeah ground yeah. okay ah. and then if we look here that's reading 14.47 volts so we've got dc power there yeah so we need to find the isolator switch that off then we can undo those and we can take the box away cool so if anyone that doesn't know dc is your batteries on the boat so if it was ac the 240 volts um, then this would have gone off when I hit the trip switch, the mains trip switch. So this is showing that this is on the battery circuit. Dad, do you think you know what this is? I do. I think I know what it is. I think it's something that, um, uh, you know, fast boys in fast cars would stick in their boots and have stonking great speaker systems and really ah. loud, loud noise from the radio or the CD changing. Okay. That's what I think it is, but so, I've never seen one before. So some rock or beat a holic had a really loud radio in their narrowboat whizzing down the canals at some point excellent <laughs> yes, that's what it looks like anyway. well i'm pleased to be able to take that out is it as heavy as it felt in this shelf yeah, somebody else may know more than me obviously but that's what i think it is yeah if somebody does let us know so this is a gto 600 watt gto 4000 
432 channel power amplifier and it came with um, like a couple of rainbow speakers and, and other units um, but this is the main box so glad to be rid of it taking up space <laughs> free to a good home so we're just tidying this up now people so we're gonna take this red cable out from the right and then just leave the other one connected to this box and just kind of pop it over there and that'll be a safe safe connector so we're just tidying up now all right it's looking a lot tidier so we've managed to get rid of a few unnecessary cables we've pushed the random aerial back through there this socket is live so we're going to tidy that up and you can see how everything else is kind of not here anymore we've unscrewed the block that was here and that's safe and we've just dangled it there for a minute we'll come back to that and the tv is on a 12 volt lead and the connection was fine but we're just putting some tape around it and then yeah almost finished it's looking much better next update here was i cut round the outside you can see sort of everything down sort of here and around here has been cut so i did that round the whole of the edge look at the mess there they've used it to actually use two pieces of wood which i didn't know but that's all on the edge now and i did that all with a bosch multi-tool uh, this is great because it's got um you can put this blade at any angle so i use this head on to go straight through and then it's at an angle here because i've just cut some hatches so i did this one up here and that's going to be for this wire so i'm going to put that in there and then one down here so that's going to have the power cable and aerial for the tv through it there and then this power cable is going to go through this one and i actually finished this off it was a really awkward to get the um multi-tool in here so i did the first half with the multi-tool and then just did the second half with the chisel so this is a bit of a mess because there's not enough head clearance for chisel but it was fine and then i did i cut each side here with the multi-tool and then just did the bottom with the chisel all the way across so you won't be able to see these joins so i'm going to clean this out then i'm going to put i've got a piece of wood here that if you remember i took out from the bottom shelf there so this triangular piece of wood is now going to sit beautifully in this shelf so i may need to cut it to get it around this corner but if i do i'll cut it here and then it'll easily have the two pieces one piece here one piece here and then all these cables will be underneath and you won't see them they'll be sitting in the channels and then i'm going to put a piece of wood at the back here sort of sitting on on here and then it will go up flush to here so that's why i needed that channel in there so that's the plan and then i'll have that piece of wood going up to here and then another piece from here to the wall there and then I will be able to use this plug once I've cleaned all this up. It's a bit rammy, but we'll see what it's like after it's clean. And then I'm not sure what to do with this hole. Still thinking about that. And I've also got a gap under here. So I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll let you know what answer I come up with for that. Making good progress. I've cut all the wood now. So we're ready to just fit everything. Um, I mean, check this out. You know, you can you can spend hours measuring and it's all perfect and you know what you're doing and then you realize you've cut it really badly and there's quite a bit of space missing so fun and i also need to block these holes so i was going to put some wood on there and glue it down but my mum had an excellent idea of some of the leftover lino uh vinyl even <laughs> from the bathroom and under the bed work that i've done so i could just cut a piece out and glue it down and then that stays making more sawdust i've glued some bits of vinyl over the holes that'll stop the spiders and i've also cut and screwed on a wedge piece as a support so i can this up so it's just a support underneath to stop the corners going down so there's one there and then one on this side for the other side of the shelf and then i've glued on it's a bit messy this side but that's the underside i've glued on 
the two bits so it'll hopefully fit better and I've cut a notch again why am I showing you this side it looks like rammy here we go that's better I cut and then sandpapered so it's quite a nice smoother notch for the cable so that's going to go over here um where all these I can't really see there we go where all these cables are going to notch through it there well, this will be no surprise to any of you, I don't think, that I've cocked up again with this shelf. <laughs> oh, this is, I, I'm hoping this is the last day um, that I have to do this shelf, but we'll see. Anyway, so, uh, it looks pretty good. So we've got, this is glued, so I'm really pleased with that. So the two strips at the front of glued and the wedges that I put on under here and the other side look really good. But the back piece, um, I didn't measure that very well. So it's great. I measured it. Um, where am I pointing for you? <laughs> I measured up to here fine. Um, so width ways is perfect. But what I didn't do, when I measured it from here to here, I measured the wood and I actually sat the wood in the lip and before I put these in and it fitted great. What I forgot was that this was going to be in here so whatever width this is um it's too tall so i've got to measure again i'm just going to measure the space this time because it's not level this piece of wood is not level so i'm going to measure from here to here a few places along and then measure the wood to fit and then i brought the jigsaw back with me um today so i'll See if I can cut the wood. It might be a bit hard because it's such a small amount to cut off, so it might be a, an issue without uh, sort of a workbench. But we'll see. We'll see. I'll measure it. See how much to come off, um, and give it a go. Make lots of mess, of course. Uh, <laughs> but we'll see how we get on. And then that's the last bit. Cut the cut the height of those two pieces, and then get them in. Uh, screw screw them down, and then job done. So we'll see if I can get that done in the next hour or so. But fingers crossed not too bad a job here fairly pleased with that so this is a piece that i've just cut off you can see how narrow it is it starts off at like almost nothing can't even get that to focus hang on there you go almost nothing and then grows the wedge to About half a centimetre there so that hopefully will fit and this is the tool for this job it's this jigsaw Roby jigsaw battery powered most of the tools in fact all of them I think uh, have been Roby the batteries are interchangeable so that's quite handy I use this very handy box this is my desk my computer desk which is so heavy, so it was quite handy to um, quite handy to lean on, keep it steady. There's all the mess I've made, so I'm gonna try not to breathe so that I can vacuum that up in situ. But having said that, um, breathing's not a problem. Check check me out. Hey, <laughs> I look good in this, don't I? Go on, you you can say it. I look good in it. <laughs> It still does not fit, but it's a lot closer than it was before. Um, it rattles, so I can't really show you with one hand, but it it tips. This floor is raised slightly here, which I kind of expect in an annoying way because there's a one of the support for this shelf is there. I didn't put that in. Um, I'll show you. So this one here. So, um, and I suppose I did kind of know it wasn't straight because this this piece rattles as in like you can push it down here. There you go. And so you know it's not straight because this is actually sitting on two of those um, supports. It's got one here and then another one here. So I'm just going to have to file this, well sand it to, to size now. So it's pretty close, it's millimetres out, but it's millimetres in certain places. So yeah, I'm just going to offer the wood up to the back here, look where it's not fitting and then sand a bit off and see what I can do.
one side in really pleased with that just the bit over there to do now oh the last piece and it went in straight away i measured it cut it and it slotted straight in look at that it just slots in perfect and here we are finally finished glad to see the back of it to be honest but pleased that it's done and now a usable space so I shall now fill it with stuff